In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Let y denote the number of heads obtained when three fair coins are tossed. We have to calculate the variance of z where z is equal to 4 plus 5 y square and these are the options that are given to us. Note that this question is linked to the last question that I solved. So I'm writing some of the information here directly. So we know that y will follow a binomial distribution and these are the parameters. We know that n is equal to 3, p is equal to 0 0.5. And in the last question, we calculated that expected value of y square is equal to 0 0.75 plus 1.5 whole square. Well, this is equal to 3. And we also calculated that the expected value of z is equal to 19. So this is what we know from the last question that I solved. Now let's proceed with this question. So we have to calculate the variance of z so that means we have to calculate the variance and here we have 4 plus 5 y square. Now here we can use the property of variance. So we can use this property that variance of ax plus b where x is a random variable and a and b are constants is equal to a square variance of x. So this is the property that we can use here. So using this property we can write that variance of 4 plus 5 y square is equal to 25 multiplied by variance of y square. So this is the value that we have to find. So first of all, let's find the value of variance of y square and then we will multiply that value by 25 to find the value of variance of z. So let's find the variance of y square. Well, we know that we can write variance of y square is equal to expected value of y4 minus expected value of y square whole square and we already know that expected value of y square is equal to 3. So we can write that variance of y square is equal to expected value of y raised to the power 4 minus 3 whole square. So this is equal to 9. Now to find the value of variance of y square we first have to find this. So let's find this and to find this we will have to use the binomial formula. So we know that y can take four values. So y can be equal to 0, 1, 2 or 3. And let's find the corresponding probabilities. So here I'm finding the probability that the random variable y is equal to a particular value of y. And for this we have to use the binomial formula. Well, according to the binomial formula, the probability that the random variable y is equal to r is equal to ncr p raised to the power r 1 minus p raised to the power n minus r. So this is the binomial formula that I'm going to use to find these probabilities. So using this formula, I can find that the probability that the random variable y will take the value 0 is equal to 3c0 because n is equal to 3, 0 0.5 raised to the power 0 and 0 0.5 raised to the power 3. Similarly, I can find that the probability that y will take the value 1 is equal to 3c1, 0 0.5 raised to the power 1, 0 0.5 raised to the power 2. And this is equal to 3 multiplied by 0 0.125. Similarly, this is equal to 3c2, 0 0.5 raised to the power 2, and 0 0.5 raised to the power 1. And this will also be equal to 3 multiplied by 0 0.125. And similarly, we can write here that this is 3c3, 0 0.5 raised to the power 3 and 0 0.5 raised to the power 0. And this is equal to 0 0.125. So these are the possible values of y and these are the corresponding probabilities. Note that we have to find the expected value of y raised to the power 4. So now using this information, let's find the possible values that y raised to the power 4 can take. So y raised to the power 4. When y is equal to 0, y raised to the power 4 will also be equal to 0. When y is equal to 1, this is 1. When y is equal to 2, this is 16. And when y is equal to 3, this is 81. Now the probability that y raised to the power 4 is equal to 0 is equal to the probability that y is equal to 0. Similarly, the probability that y raised to the power 4 is equal to 16 
is equal to the probability that y is equal to 2. So given this information, let us now find the expected value of y raised to the power 4. And to find the expectation, we will have to multiply the probability with the possible values of y raised to the power 4. So in this column, I'm writing y raised to the power 4 multiplied by probability. So 0 multiplied by this probability is equal to 0. 1 multiplied by this probability is equal to 0 0.375. 16 multiplied by this probability is equal to 6. And 81 multiplied by this probability is equal to 10.125. And we know that the expected value of y raised to the power 4 is equal to the sum of all of these. So expected value of y raised to the power 4 is equal to 16.5. So this is the expected value of y raised to the power 4. So now we can find the value of variance of y square. It is equal to, so variance of y square is equal to 16.5 minus 9. So this is equal to 7.5. And now we can find the variance of z. Well, variance of z is equal to 25 times the variance of y square. So that means variance of z is equal to 25 multiplied by 7.5. And this is equal to 187.5. So that means the right answer is part C.